Let's look at another problem using Rowlett's Law. This time we're given the vapor pressure of pure water at a temperature of 29.6 degrees Celsius. We want to lower that vapor pressure to a new value. We are told the mass of solute that is added to a certain mass of water, and we want to find the molar mass of that solute. We're told the solute is not volatile, which means that we're talking about an ideal situation. And again, this is a non-electrolytic solute. This is a molecular or covalently bonded compound. Like before, we can use Reynolds law to solve for the mole fraction of the solvent. So I'm going to say the mole fraction of solvent, in this case the solvent's water, is going to equal the vapor pressure of my solution divided by the vapor pressure of the pure solvent, the water. So that's going to be 28.6 torr divided by 31.1 torr, which equals 0 0.9196. So there's my mole fraction of the water. And as before, my mole fraction of the water is going to equal my moles of water divided by my moles of water plus my moles of the solute. We know that's 0.9196, and we're given 350 grams of water, which comes out to 19.4 moles of water. So I'm going to divide that by 19.4 plus x. So 0 0.9196 equals 19.4 all over 19.4 plus x. x equals 1.696 moles of solute. Now the question is asking for the molar mass. So I can take my mass of solute, which is 86.8 grams, and divide it by my number of moles, and I get a molar mass of 51.2 grams per mole for my solute, which is a pretty clever way to find the molar mass of a substance and help identify what an unknown substance could be.